Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be showcasing a Rare Relic only build for Fiddlesticks. Now we do have our Fiddlesticks at 6 stars and we have pretty much all the upgrades as you can see right here. But we're going to be trying to showcase a Rare Relic only build. So the point of this build is Chemtech Duplicated, Grand Counter Counterplan, and Archangel Staff. We want Fiddlesticks to get summoned be on the board and then the next round we'll have Chemtech Duplicated go off get his effect to go off for creating one of his champion spells, the Crow Storm, and then having the Archangel Staff. With this build, our Crow Storm is going to go off twice, being able to just hit the entire enemy board for a negative 4-4, terrify four of their cards, potentially giving us a bunch of nightmares, and should be a pretty strong effect once we get our Fiddlesticks on the board. Now we're going to test this against Lissandra, so let's get into it. Let's go here for Support Champion. Warning Shot's not bad. That is giving us just flat out extra damage soldier viego two to all units i think let's just go here for gangplank him being a little bit cheaper isn't bad and then warning shots just give us free terrifies monkey idol the powder monkey also gives us free terrifies let's go ahead and go here let's try out a power let's see so nature's revenge disarms we'd have double disarm so all the enemy would have negative two so this could be a lot better if we were going for our shock and awe build but that's not really the case anymore created ally granted two two we are gonna have some created allies i think this will also count for our nightmares so that would be solid but i think we want to just try to go for more damage flat out so i think let's go for nature's revenge just to try to push as much damage as possible so we can get more terrifies so we can get our fiddlesticks on the board Dawning Shadow, Flight, Sinister Portal could be good. Okay, so uh, Mana Cost there is good. Scout with our Elusive is also solid. Double Warning Shot is kind of hilarious, so sure. Let's just get all the things. Yeah, Sinister Portal is not bad. It's a fearsome unit. Yeah, I think we can do this. If we got something like uh, Evolution, he would go really hard. Now, I think we'll go up for potentially the Champion Item Chest. I don't plan on getting uh, Spell Shield because we're going for a spell-based build with our Chemtech Duplicator. But let's go up here. Let's see. So we have She Who Wanders. Uh, so this will obliterate a lot of our units. But that shouldn't really matter because they're still going to do the damage. Won't be the best, but yeah, we can be up for a challenge. So let's go here for Zephyr Sage. This could be tough. Because this is a full Rare Relic build. And yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Wow. Okay. Kind of high rolled there. I don't really want to wait for them to be able to play something. Let's drop our warning shot. Scout and double attack. All right, well, we can do that here. No greater gift than knowledge. And let's just drag him aside and go again. Although they're out of mana, so we could actually just slow down a little bit, develop our board a bit more. All right, so they got absolutely wrecked. Let's see how this goes. All right, so they're on to 16 cards. Uh, we could go for another Baleful. We actually, Gangplank is elusive. So let's drop our Gangplank here so he can try to block one of the scouts. But yeah, they're going to have multiples. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh well. All right, so. Oh, we did get our fiddlesticks. All right, GG. So didn't really need our build right now. I think let's go for monkey business. It is the cheapest and one, it's more Hextech Fabricators. Powder Monkeys can get some decent damage down. Let's actually see. So she has all things grow cold. I think we'll actually maybe go for the Ancient Coin on Gangplank. We could potentially drop him turn one then, which wouldn't be the worst. When him summon, draw a spell. There's just one extra copy. Yeah, I think we'll actually go for Gangplank because we're drawing him every round. 
All right, let's go for Warden of the Tribes again with Iron Inevitable. Let's get rid of both of these and Warning Shot since we know we're going to draw it. Man, we're actually getting kind of lucky with getting multiple Nightmares immediately. That's kind of crazy. Let's drop our Gangplank. And let's see what we get for Epic Items. All right, so double attack. We're getting some really solid damage down here. Should have done that for Gangplank. All right, pretty good. So let's drop this immediately. That way they don't get more cost reduction. And let's go ahead and kill that right away. All right, perfect. Yeah, so we're just... Our six-star fiddlesticks is annihilating them, but we're not actually relying on the build at all. Oh, man. GG. Summon two random one-cost followers. Man, this would be so good if we were going for shock and awe. Uh, summon, summon a Spriteling. So a couple units, give us a heal. We don't have crazy one cost synergy anymore because we're not going for our specific build. And we also didn't go for the one for creative cards or stronger. I think we'll go for Petal Pixie. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's go for the Protective Broodfather. Yeah, it's a little sad that our current build for Fiddlesticks hasn't mattered at all. Like this is normally why I go for like a passive build for Fiddlesticks, but this is a little rough. Uh, let's get rid of most of these although we did high roll both games with getting double nightmares turn one all right so i think again we can drop our fiddle sticks immediately we can drop our warning shot for the double epic items all right so double attack which is good we don't plan on him dying <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack like this. All right, so good amount of damage down. The world in wings. Let's actually drop False Friend to see. All right, so we could try to kill their Herald. But I think we can actually go for Petal Pixie. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and attack. All right, not terrible. Drop this here for a little bit of extra damage. All right, so they're literally one away from, from dying. All right, let's drop our Fiddlesticks here. We were forged in dragon and we can go for Crow Storm. So Chemtech is nice for being able to go off twice and just nuke their board. Their GG. Yeah, I think this is definitely a better build if you don't have six star fiddlesticks. I think this is something that if you know your fiddlesticks games are going on a little bit longer, then this can definitely help you out. But I think for us, it's doing almost nothing, which is a little sad. Uh, deal one to a unit, someone powder kegs. Hmm. So this would give us extra units. Not terrible. I do actually like the boom ship, though. So I think we will actually grab this here. All right, champion item. Don't particularly care about any of those. Let's do one reroll. Play, I start a free attack. That's actually pretty nice. We could go for Colossal Hammer, so this hits a little harder, but I think we'll actually go for the free attack. Yeah, it could be good. The one issue, especially into Lissandra, she's probably going to be able to like Frostbite us or do things like that. Would give us another strike off though. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll try it. All right, Remitter. 
Allies have 2-2, two, two, round end deal 2 to all your allies. Uh, player summons 2 Funsmiths, round end kill all damaged units. Uh, 2 Funsmiths would give us some more damage, which isn't necessarily terrible. It would make her Ice Shards hit even harder. So there is that, but if she dropped an Ice Shard, it would probably kill her own units. Uh, we could reroll for all units being a little bit weaker. Like, we do have a lot of damage ourselves, so it's not terrible. Like, we have our warning shot that's going off right away. But some of our other effects, like Gloom, won't get increased by this. Frenzied Fighting could be funny. I think let's actually go for Frenzied Fighting. Let's just go full in on, on damage. Could uh, backfire, but could be fun. Uh, Trifarian. Okay, a lot of our units will probably die. Well, our Elusive potentially will, but this could give us more damage as well. Inheritance wouldn't be bad, but yeah, Trifarian I think will be fun. And let's go for She Who Wonders. Right, let's drop Monkey Idol. And yeah, this is okay. High risk, high reward. Yeah, that's kind of what we're going with right now. Alright, let's drop our Gangplank. Uh, Alright, warning shot. Double attack, actually not great in this situation. Um, sure, we can let him die. That's fine, we can drop another one. Granted, when we drop him, he'll die again, which will be kind of hilarious. Alright, so... Bye-bye, Gangplank. Uh, because he's just getting all the strikes off. Even our Poro is getting a hit in. So yeah, their power isn't great for us, but that's fine. I'm just relying on summoning enough units that it offsets the extra damage we're taking. Uh, yeah, I think let's go for Baleful. Alright, just doing as much damage as we can. And yeah, some of our units are going to get obliterated, and that's fine. <laughs> We're going to go for another monkey idol. Uh, I think we'll actually go for Arachnoid Horror. Just so that we get, yeah, more copies in our deck. Uh, we could go for Pixie for more mana next round. Uh, I kind of think we're fine, though. Alright, nice. Level fiddlesticks. Hmm, kind of want to use this to terrify them, but they're not playing anything. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Alright, that's fine. All the nightmares. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this here. And we can go for another Crow Storm. Yeah, it does give you some pretty great removal, because also if they had units, our attack would again gloom their whole board. So it is a lot of damage. GG. Uh, Mystic Shot, Dreadway. That's kind of funny. Boom Ship. Mystic Shot will be okay. All right, let's go for Robe Maker. I don't actually want to get any of these <laughs> at all. Don't really care about the darkness. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's try to go for the hard route. So let's go up for Scar Mother with I Am Inevitable, which is like the worst possible setup. But let's see how it goes. Uh, let's get rid of Monkey Idol. The warning shots are actually kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so let's again drop our Gangplank. Let him get a bunch of damage going. Let's go for our warning shots to just see all the items we get. Alright, so, yep, yeah, scout, double attack. Looks pretty good. Alright, so you have one health left. I think let's just go here. It's not really going to matter too much. And we could just finish them off with a mystic shot. Uh, 
Oh man. Alright, GG. We don't really need the champion draw because we always are drawing our gangplank at the start of the game, so this kind of doesn't matter. I think it's actually do one reroll since we have five of them. And Plunderpour is still decent. Yeah, with the spell draw, it's okay. Alright, let's go for Howling Abyss. Let's get rid of Crow Storm. And we'll get rid of Warning Shot. We're finally getting our Lurking Nightmare for the first time. I think this is literally the first time we've seen it this entire adventure, which is sad. I think we'll still drop it first. We want to go for our Gangplank, but we kind of want to fill out our board. Alright, let's drop this here. Uh, warning shot. Let's see what we get. Double attack again. Nice. Alright, so we attack like this, get some solid damage down, and then some of the units we summon should kill Sivir. There we go. Hey, look. Gangplank. Uh, I think it strikes the weakest target, so this is gonna suck, but I guess we'll go for Baleful again. Yeah, strike off there, strike there. Alright, so he has Rally Banner. Kind of feel like, sure, but yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. Let's kill that. Damage him. Yeah, that was a little bit rough. But everything's fine now. <laughs> GG. Uh, Shallow Siren, another one of the cards we got a really good upgrade for, and we have not seen a single time. <laughs> We're actually having kind of bad luck in that regard. Like, we're still dominating, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, two of the cards we got epic items for, we've not seen at all. Alright, power. Uh, Deep Cuts is funny. Titanic Wake. A lot of our units aren't going to trigger, but some will. Sure. Let's go for it. Some of our Nightmares will drop this, and it'll be hilarious. Alright, let's see here. So that's big... Our monkey idol would be Titanic. Uh, Cock me on the same targets. Awesome. Uh, boom ship. This would make it better. Give us some more powder kegs. But I think I want something a little bit more impactful. Let's do a reroll. Black cleaver. I would yeah, love to actually get this unit. Let's see. What do we have here? Echoing mists. Hmm. Let's try one more. Play some exact pen will copy of me. We're normally not playing this. Uh, Crow Storm could be okay. Getting some more cost reduction for it. But I think we'll try one more. Reckoner's Mark. Sure. This is going to get two, like multiple strikes off. That could be pretty funny. I think we'll buy one copy of this, kind of for the memes. And then some other things here are fine, but I think we're good. All right, let's go for Anivia. Uh, let's give it a Monkey Idol. And even monkey business and boom ship. So we like our shallow siren. But we do have our gangplank, which is going to hit pretty hard. We have four mana. I think let's actually go for gangplank into Sinister Poro. They might frostbite us here. Yep. But now they can't drop Anivia. Oh, game freaked out. Okay. Kind of, yeah, still... Actually, this is going to hit the... <laughs> okay, it still worked there. Yeah, we can actually drop the this Poro. Suppose we could do the scout attack with him just to get another one of the saplings. Oh boy, buried in ice. How fun. Uh, let's go for our Gangplank, then. This will give us a Rally. They have barely any mana, so they probably can't do anything. Break their legs. Uh, let's actually go for Sinister Poro. Let's override that. I'll show them pain. 
All right, good damage down. That's kind of the worst thing about the Buried in Ice is it just fills up your board. It doesn't just kill your units. Break their legs. All right, let's try to go here with the Scout Attack. And GG. Nice. All right, let's, I guess, go for some more Crow Storm. That can be fine. Uh, Echoing Mists. I think let's probably just cut a card. Yeah, I think let's actually just cut Boom Ship. And let's go for Lissandra. Uh, let's, yeah, go like this. Yeah, thinking things is worthless is the wrong mindset to have. Trying to think if there's a way you can make something work is kind of good to try goodness that's a lot of stuff let's go for our gangplank all right let's go ahead and attack i guess we can go for a warning shot to see what we get double attack nice well that makes sense i guess though <laughs> oh man I keep thinking that Gangplank had Scout so that he already used it, but that's actually not the case. Uh, let's drop Sinister Poro, kill their Inquisitor. Uh, monkey business is fine. All right, let's try to get our Scout attack in. Oh my word. This one unit is doing 92 damage. GG. All right, that was a lot of fun. Six star fiddlesticks is pretty great. Sadly, we didn't really get to show off this build too much because we pretty much just ended before this would ever really be useful. I think this can be a solid rare relic build, especially if you are having your fiddlesticks. That's more like three stars, maybe four stars. And you notice your games are going long enough that you can actually get fiddlesticks on the board with that Chemtech duplicator. For us, kind of doesn't really help us at all because as you see even against some of the toughest adventures we're still ending before we often even get fiddlesticks on the board but if you're still having a lower level fiddlesticks i think this can be a solid build for you